All right, scientists, so here's one other piece of this lab. So when you're pulling pieces of tape, you've probably found certain patterns where upper and lower pieces interact with each other um, in a particular way, and upper and other upper pieces, or the top pieces, interact with each other in a certain way, and a low piece and a low piece, or a bottom piece and a bottom piece, they interact with each other in a certain way. And you're gonna start coming up with rules. You're probably even going to be naming things, but you don't actually know what's going on yet. You could come up with a name, but that name wouldn't be in any kind of um, other tradition. So we need to be given some other kind of standard. So here's the standard. So if I peel these apart from each other, there is a top piece and a lower piece, and I see that there's an attraction, fine. But let me just set this aside for a moment. And let me show you the standard that is the standard for all things electricity for me. This is a rubber balloon. And this tool right here is my head. And when my head is rubbing on a balloon, it produces its own charge. And you notice that it's attracting this piece of tape. What do you think it's gonna to do to the other piece of tape? This balloon happens to be designated as a negative charge. Everywhere you go in the world, any balloon that's been rubbed on a wool sweater or um, fur or your head, your hair, this will be a negative charge, we call it. That has certain connotations, it gives you certain hints. There's no reason why it had to have been this way. It's just the way that we've named it. All balloons rubbed on hair, fur, or wool become negatively charged. So I'll do it again. Let me graphically demonstrate that for you. And then do that attraction. Okay. Use that. We'll see what it does for you. Enjoy.